Okay, congruent triangles. The idea behind congruent triangles versus similar, which is what we did um, last week. Right. Now all of a sudden we're going to have triangles that are the exact same size and shape. There are five ways to prove that triangles are congruent. Uh, and those five ways involve using sides and angles. The five theorems, <coughs> they're going to look somewhat similar to what we did with similar triangles, but the five ways to prove they're congruent, we could use side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, which is the exact same thing as side, angle, angle, or kind of a different one, which is HL. What HL is, it's actually a very special case of um, a congruence using uh, right triangles. Um, so let me get rid of that. But um, as you can see, the only one that looks a little bit different here uh, for it almost looks like there's two different ways there, but it's the same thing. If you look at you know one, two, and three, if you turn those around backwards, well, SSS is still SSS. SAS, if you turn it around, is still SAS. But AAS. Uh, if you turn it around backwards, it looks different, but really, if you have two angles in one side, uh, that's angle, angle, side. Uh, the order of those is very important, right? If you look very closely, right, sometimes the side will come between two angles, right? Sometimes the side is in between the angles. Sometimes the side would either be before or after the angles. So <coughs> looking at these, it's going to be very important uh, how the arrangement of the things are. So. There are two things that you can never use. You can never write these reasons down. One would be angle, angle, angle. And the other would be um, side, side, angle. And if you turn that one around, it wouldn't be hard to pick up on that. So uh, the big thing with angle, 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 if you think about it, I could have all the same angles and then just make it bigger. Well, angle, angle is actually appropriate for similar. I can make things bigger and smaller with the same angles, but they can't be congruent. So quick look at it, uh, what these would look like. So to prove two triangles can go by side, 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 you can see uh, those two sides match up. And then we have a side with two tick marks, and then we also have a side with three tick marks. So let's say that we label these triangle ABC, and then uh, X, Y, and Z. So if I look, right, there's a blue side, a red side, a black side that matches up. I could say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle, <coughs> look very carefully, and we notice ABC goes down the two side and then down the three side. <coughs> so we want to go down the two and then the three side. So the correct order here, and again, order is important, be X, Z, Y, and that is by side, side, side. Sometimes you might get just, they might just literally give you um, markings on the side of the angle. But again, all you're looking for is that everything has a matching side in the other triangle, right? There's a 5, a 5, an 11, an 11, a 10, and a 10. And so these are also congruent by side, side, side. They just use numbers instead of markings. <coughs> Here's what side, angle, side would look like, right? There's the blue sides. Both match up, and right in between those two sides happens to be an angle, so this would be um, congruent by side, angle, side. And again, you might get something where they mention, hey, this side length is 5, this side length is 4, and maybe they kind of mix and match, and they put a congruent angle between them. But again, we have a side, we have an angle, we have a side, we have a side, we have an angle, we have a side. So these are also congruent by side, angle, side. Here's one where it's an angle followed by a side. And then even though it's a right angle, it's still an angle. And sure enough, there's a right angle in the other triangle. A side is marked. Oh, excuse me. A side is marked. And then an angle is also marked. <coughs> and as you can see, this side is between the angles. And that's the same thing for the other triangle. So these two are congruent by angle side. 
angle. Angle, angle, side. Slightly different look here all of a sudden. There's an angle, there's an angle, and there's your side. Look at the other one. You do an angle followed by another angle followed by a side. So here's one where all of a sudden, notice there is no marking on the side between the two angles. It's the side that comes either before or after the angles. It's on the outside of the angles. So this would be an example of congruent by angle, angle, side. Uh, right triangles, this is to help us make sure that we're good with what we're looking at. There's two things we need. We need a hypotenuse, and we need a leg. So remember, hypotenuse is across from the right angle. So uh, in these three examples, right, there's your right angle. So this would be the hypotenuse. Here's your right angle. That means this side is a hypotenuse. Here's your right angle, so you go across, and there's a hypotenuse. A leg is any side that is not the hypotenuse. So each one of these triangles actually has two legs. Another way to look at the leg is a leg actually touches the right angle. So how does that play out for us? If we look very carefully, there's the right angle, there's a hypotenuse, and there's a leg. They match up. Here's the right angle, there's the hypotenuse, there's the leg that match up. So these are congruent by HL. Now, another really nice way to kind of remember HL, it goes back to one of the um, inappropriate reasons. If we label this like we did before with S's and A's, this would be an angle, that would be a side, and that would be a side. This would be a side, this would be a side, this would be an angle. All of a sudden you have SSA, which we're not allowed. However, this is probably the best way to remember HL. If you have SSA with a right angle, it's actually HL, which we see right there. Right? You look very closely. There's side, side, then the angle comes beyond the sides. Right? It's not the angle between the sides, it's the one that's after the sides. Here again, it's side, side, angle. So here's SSA, but we do have a right angle. So these are congruent by HL. One of the big questions a lot of people have is, how do I know which way to go? And there's not really a magical way you always have to go. What you want to do is label what you're given. Mark what you're not. So for example, sometimes it's pretty straightforward. There's an angle, here's a side, here's an angle. Here's an angle, there's a side, there's an angle. So I'm saying mark what isn't. Let me clean that up. What I'm saying to you, like maybe put a little X. That side's not marked. This angle's not marked, and that side's not marked. This side's not marked, that angle, and that side. <coughs> and as you start to figure out what the order is, you can never skip more than one X. So for example, if I start right here at this angle, if I try to go this way around the figure, I have to skip over one, two, three X's. So I can't go this way. So that forces me to go this way around the triangle, which would put me at ASA. Right? Sometimes it's pretty obvious. There's an S, there's an S, there's an S. There's not really much confusion there. Make sure the other triangle has the same exact marking. And so this would be SSA. Here all of a sudden we have an angle, an angle, an angle, and then the other one, three angles. AAA, but as we saw before, that's not allowed. So these are not congruent. Here we go, side, then an angle, then a side, a side, an angle, then a side. And let me mark what's not given to me. That's not marked, that angle, this side, that angle. That angle, that side, that angle. So if I tried to start, let's say, at this S and head this way around the figure, I can't because I've skipped over one, two particular markings. So that forces me this way, which would be side, 
and then angle inside. And it's the same thing here to be S A S. Here we go, side, angle, then a side. And when you put X's on what's not given to me, there's a side, there's an angle, not marked, not marked. I need another side, and I got enough in there. But this is kind of a curious case. If you notice, we'll start right here on the top of this triangle. Uh, we cannot go this way. Too many X's. So we'll have to go kind of clockwise around this, and that'd be SAS. Now let's say we try to do SAS in this particular one. So let's start on that S, and let's work our way. So S, we go A, but then all of a sudden we skip two things. So we actually can't go this way. So it can't be SAS. So let's start at the S. Let's start at this S right here and go clockwise. And then all of a sudden we went S, S, and then again, however, we're going to have to, right, we went to S, and we went to this S, but then we had to skip those two X's again. So it can't be SS. Um, so let, maybe we try a different way altogether. Um, okay, let me remark this. Let's say we start at this one. And... Uh, as you can see, we cannot go clockwise because we'd skip two S X's right away. So let's go this way, and we skip one X, but that's okay. We can skip one. Um, we just can't skip more than one. And then the next letter we come to is S followed by an A. Well, here's an issue because we have SAS in one triangle, SSA in the other. This is not allowed. Here's an example of two triangles that are not congruent. All right. And then one more example here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the markings first. So this side is not marked. That angle is not marked. That side is not marked. So we got a side, an angle, unmarked side. We got an angle, and a couple of unmarked. So really pick somewhere to start. Um, let's say I started right there at that angle. If I try to go counterclockwise, I'll run into two X's. So I can't go this way. So let me head this way. I go angle, the next thing I come across is an angle that's marked, and then that's followed by a side. So that's one of my allowed ways. Try to do the same order on the other side. So in order to do that, I'm going to start at that angle and head this way. So I, I head an angle first, followed by a second angle, and then the next mark I have is side. So there's congruent by angle, angle, side. One last thing to remind you, there are a few things you're always allowed to add. When it looks like maybe there's only two markings, you can always add a shared side. And here's the deal, that means it's a side. So here we go, angle, unmarked, angle, followed by side. And then we have two things that aren't marked. Unmarked, angle, side, and then we got a couple unmarked. And so if we try to kind of start playing around with this thing, say we start with that shared side. We'll try to start right here, so side. We cannot go this way, right? It's too many X's, so we'll go this way. The next thing we come to is an angle. We skip one. That's okay. Into the next angle. So let's start here. Can't go counterclockwise, so the next thing we come to is this angle. So we start at the side and look at the angle. We can skip one. That's okay. And then we get to another angle. So these are congruent by side, angle, angle. And then another thing that you're always allowed to add are vertical angles. So go ahead and mark those in there, and then all of a sudden, this one's a pretty obvious one to see. They both have two sides and an angle, angles between the sides, so this is congruent by side, angle, side. Now it's just a matter of getting some of the practice on your own.